China's Genocide of Tibet by Barbara Curran. Tibet is a region located to the west of the People's Republic of China. Due to geographic proximity, the two countries have had a long history of power struggles. An example of this struggle is the Sino-Tibetan War fought in 1930. In order to assert political control over Tibet, China issued a series of invasions from 1949 to 1951. With 35,000 troops, the Chinese raped, tortured, and murdered thousands of innocent Tibetans. That same year, China and Tibet signed the 17 points in which China promised not to disrupt Tibetan politics and culture. However, the Chinese violated this agreement. China took three regions of Tibet and left one for Tibetan autonomous rule. However, they soon controlled this area as well. On March 10, 1959, the Tibetans staged a revolt in Lhasa, the capital of Tibet. This began the Tibetan uprising. At this time, the leader of Tibetan Buddhism, the Dalai Lama, Tenzin Gyatso, along with 100,000 Tibetans, fled Tibet and found refuge in India. The Dalai Lama has spread awareness of the human rights violations in Tibet and continues to push for equality. With the absence of the leader of Tibet, a Chinese Panchen Lama replaced the old one and was assigned to control the area. The decade of 1966 to 1976 brought devastating effects to the culture of Tibet. Cultural genocide initiated by the Chinese government also occurred due to the fact that they were trying to eradicate the influence of Tibetan Buddhism. Mao Zedong, the leader of the Chinese Communist Party, destroyed thousands of Tibetan monasteries. In total, 350,000 starved, 150,000 were executed, and almost 200,000 were tortured in labor camps and prisons. Starting in 2008, the Tibetans began protests against China's mistreatment of Tibet. This has brought great media attention to the violations in Tibet. Many human rights organizations have tried to help the Tibetans, but have been unsuccessful. As a result, these human rights violations still continue today. <laughs>